hello guys welcome back to my channel we have canada's national sport today we have hockey lacrosse or cricket i think i already know which one is the the big the most popular in canada but let's see how the video presents it if you enjoy the content don't forget to leave a like comment on what you want to see next and do subscribe to the channel for more content i'm trying to get into 500 subscribers by the end of the month i am at 400 as of now so please do subscribe and help grow the channel let's get into it Many people play and are interested in sports, but do you know what Canada's national sport is? You might be surprised when we explore this topic right after this. How to be Canadian. This is the place to learn about food, stereotypes, culture, and all things Canadian. So let's go, eh? Okay, before uh, we go further, if you want me to do more videos from this channel, let me know down below in the comments. Canada's first national sport may come as a surprise to some. It's unknown to most Canadians today, but it was the most popular sport in Canada until the early 20th century. This sport declined in participation in our country with the popularity of baseball coming to the forefront, though it remained popular in other British Commonwealth countries. In 1876, Canada's first... Yeah, I'm still kind of confused about how the Commonwealth countries uh, work. King Charles is the king, but yet again, they're not under British control, under British rule. It's kind of confusing. First Prime Minister declared cricket as our national sport. Mm. Invented by the British, cricket is a bat and ball game played by two sides of 11 players on a grassy field. The field is centered on two wickets, each attended by a batsman. The Toronto Cricket Club was founded in 1827. In September of 1844, teams from Canada and the United States met in what was arguably the first international cricket match in history, and perhaps even oh. the first international sporting fixture in the world. Wow. At least 5,000 spectators watched the Canadian team win at the grounds of the St. George's Cricket they Club in them. New York. But the game growing the fastest might surprise you. That's right, cricket. More Canadians are picking it up. But what's needed most are places to play. It's true what they say, what's old is new again. After many years of cricket in decline, it has now become the fastest growing sport in Canada. Wow. I think I guess that. Prior to Canada being settled by Europeans and becoming the country of Canada, an even older game was being played by the First Nations peoples. Lacrosse is at least 500 years old, and this game was initially played in the St. Lawrence Valley area by the Algonquin tribe and other tribes in the eastern half of North America and around mm. the western Great Lakes. Games of lacrosse were played for a number of reasons. It was considered a sport that toughened up young warriors, but it was also a game played for recreation and for religious reasons. Oh, lacrosse is a team sport played with a stick which has a netted cup on one end and a ball. I got a question, why is it always, especially in North America, most of the sports has a stick and a ball? Hockey, you have the puck and the stick. Baseball, you have the puck, you have the, the, the ball and the stick. Lacrosse, you have the stick and the ball. Cricket, you have the ball and the stick. Like, what's the relationship between having a stick and a ball in North American sports? Ball. Players use the cup at the end of the stick to carry, pass, catch, and shoot the ball into a goal. Modern day lacrosse has been divided into four versions, field, box, women's, and intercross. It continues to be an important sport for First Nations athletes and is a notable contribution of native culture to modern Canadian society. Lacrosse was a medal sport in the 1904 and 1908 Olympics, but became a demonstration sport in 1928, 1932, and 1948. 
At this time, it is no longer a contender to become an Olympic sport, as a sport must be played on four continents by at least 75 countries. Lacrosse is played on all six continents, but only by 63 countries. This game was named as Canada's national game. Do Africans play lacrosse? Because I've never seen lacrosse back home. And I've never heard anybody talk about lacrosse back home. So when she says six continents, I know like there are seven continents, but I don't think nobody's playing lacrosse in Antarctica. So I don't know how accurate is that information by Parliament in 1859 and was known as its only official national sport until 1994. In May 1964, former Canadian Amateur Hockey Association President and then current Member of Parliament Jack Roxborough did extensive research to find if Canadian Parliament had ever declared a national game and specifically looked into whether lacrosse was officially declared. After going through parliamentary records, he found no law was ever enacted. He endeavoured to declare ice hockey as Canada's national game. That's recent, 94. The Canadian Lacrosse Association members responded to the motion by calling it insulting and out of line and vowed to fight it. On June 11, 1965, politician Bob Pretty replied by introducing a separate bill to have lacrosse declared as Canada's national game. By the end of the year, both bills were debated, but neither bill was ever passed. Ice hockey, or just hockey as So, when it comes to that, if hockey is the most popular, the most followed, brings them more money, people are more passionate about hockey, then why is there even a discussion about making lacrosse the national sport? I think it's common sense, but... Again, I'm not Canadian and I don't know how the laws work, but to me it's common sense. He, as we call it, is the sport most associated with our country and has been played in Canada since the early 19th century. It is played year-round by all ages, genders and skill levels throughout the country. Modern hockey is derived from various stick and ball games played throughout the centuries in the United Kingdom and a game called Kalf played on the ice in the Netherlands. From these roots, the sport of ice hockey was developed in Canada, most notably in Montreal, where the first indoor hockey game was played on March 3, 1875 at the Victoria Skating Rink. Some characteristics of that game, such as the length of the ice rink and the use of a puck, have been retained to this day. The International Ice Hockey Federation would later adopt the Canadian rules as the official rules of ice hockey. Oh. Okay. Hockey is played by two teams which try to outmaneuver a puck over the ice with sticks into the opponent's goal. It is played on indoor or outdoor rinks. The International Ice Hockey Federation declared that the first game of organized hockey was played in Montreal in 1875, though I'm sure that this is hotly contested by Windsor, Nova Scotia, which also claims this title, and where the birthplace of hockey museum is located. I mean, either way, they're both in Canada, so I don't know why they're fighting. Ice hockey has spread from being the most popular winter sport in Canada to also being the most popular in the United States, Belarus, Croatia, Czech Republic, Croatia. Finland, Latvia, Russia, Slovakia, Sweden, and Switzerland. Oh. Somewhere I thought it was only the most popular sport in North America, not, not even in all of North America, only in Canada, because I thought all those European countries had football as the, I mean, when I say football, I mean the real football, soccer, as their national sport. I didn't know that hockey was the most popular sport in those countries too. Almost 30 years later, the issue arose once again when a government bill was proposed to make hockey Canada's national game. First Nations groups objected to the bill, arguing that it neglected recognition of the game of lacrosse. The House of Commons amended the bill to recognize ice hockey as Canada's winter sport. How many people watch lacrosse? Because like in my comment, everybody keeps telling me hockey is, a nation, is Canada's national sports. 
So why people are still arguing about that if the majority says we want to watch hockey instead of lacrosse? Why do we always have to give right to... Let me not go there. Sport minorities. And lacrosse as Canada's summer sport. On May 12, 1994, the National Sports of Canada Act came into effect with these designations. If you enjoyed this video, there are a few things you can do to support. Is that a football stadium next to a baseball stadium? That's dope. Support our channel. Give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and leave a comment. For more content about Canada, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell icon to be notified. All right, that was a nice video. I've learned something. I'm still wondering about why is how big is lacrosse in Canada? Please let me know because I didn't know lacrosse was a big in Canada. All right, guys, the video is already done. So if you're still here, please don't forget to leave a like. If you enjoy the content, comment or channel see next, and do subscribe to the channel for more content. Until next time, it's